Hello, my name is Florencia Mascali and I'm doing a postdoctoral research at the Universidad Nacional de Rosario in Argentina. My research project is centered on the study of the species Pieractus mesopotamicus, known as Facu, who is the main product of fish farming production in mankind. Because no much genetic and genomic information is available for this species, we decided to carry out the de novo genome assembly of a male and a female drug genome through next generation sequence data. The data was generated from the genomic DNA of a female and a male working with Nexteraflex libraries with fragments of 600 base pairs long, which were sequenced in a Nova 6000 equipment. As a result, more than 110 GB of raw data was obtained per gender. The score quality of the raw reads was checked with the FASTQC program. As you can see in the example graphic, the score quality of the basis mostly fulfilled the required standard value of 28. However, it was identified the presence of unwanted sequences at both ends. For this reason, a trim step with the Trinomatic program was done in order to remove these bases and also bases with low quality. The final coverage after the trimming step was approximately of 60. Several programs and parameters were tested for the assembly and the best result was obtained with the Velvet program using a camera value of 67. The quest program was used to measure quantitative parameters. Both genomes presented in 100 and 200,000 contexts with a total length close to 1.2 gigabytes, gigabases, and the value of N50 between 10 and 20,000. On the other hand, the DUSCO program was used to analyze the completeness of the genome by searching for all follows from the Bonefish database, and the results show about 60% complete genes present. Finally, it was possible to identify one context for each sex that contained the complete mitochondria sequence, indicating, indicating an acceptable level of assembly. Finally, we carry out the annotation of the genome with the de novo production program Augustus, training with the Zebra Fish database, followed by the identification of the predicted coding sequence through a blast P against the non redundant databases. Using this methodology, it was possible to predict more than 50,000 genes for each assembly. As a final conclusion, we can say that it was possible to obtain the first drug genome for a female and a male of FACU. The next step within this project are to complement the annotation using information available from transcriptomes and to improve the assembly using long reads to overcome short read limitations and to perform the start volume. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you to the Universidad Nacional de Rosario, CONICET, Universidad Santiago de Compostela, the Illuminati, Pio Redes and Zavala.